Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The topic for today is going to be estimated loss and in credit risk overall. See, from last two, three videos, we are making actually concepts easy for you. So that's my thought before we proceed on to the coding side and the Python side, and then we'll set up the Python and everything. But I want you guys to understand the all the basic theoretical things and also the understanding of the concepts that how the credit risk concepts works. So today's session is going to be all dedicated to ECL. And also this term is known as EL. So we call it estimated or expected credit loss. And it is a short form. So in companies you will hear ECL, EL, any of these two will be used in the company. Now, what is ECL? So as I said, the full form of ECL is expected credit loss. That the amount which bank is already expecting that this will be loose enough after a loan or any particular product is being defaulted. Let's say there is a person named X. He took a loan, let's say any number, maybe 10 lakh rupees. So what is the total expected loss will happen to the bank if Mr. X is defaulting. So that is known as estimated loss. Okay. Now there are some important components of estimated expected credit loss and those are probability of default called PD, loss given by the default LGD and exposure at default. So in all the analytics company in the banks, you will see that there are a model on the basis of PD, LGD, EAD. Now you can build any model. Let's say you have a mod gauge as a product. So you can make a PD model for mod gauge. Let's say if you have a credit card, so you can make a PD model for credit card. Similarly, if you have, let's say auto loans, so you can make a probability of default model for auto loans. Now, similarly for LGD also for EAD also. Now there is a question comes that how we define probability of default. So as the name say, the probability that how much percent default will happen. So that is known as probability of default. Now, what is LGD? So we can simply define that the proportion proportion of total loan, which we are losing is known as loss given by the default. Then exposure at default is the total value that bank will lose. So now it makes sense guys that if you make the model for any of the product like mortgage, credit card or auto loans or student loan, whatever it is. So now you can relate all these three terminology. Okay. So in today's video, this is my main concern to make sure that you guys understand all these four things, uh, ECL, PD, LGD, EAD. Now let me take one example. So with the help of this example, actually, uh, you will be easily able to understand. So let's say a person, the name of the person is, let's say Rajat and he want to purchase a house. Okay. Now for the purchase of the house, he took a loan of let's say five lakh. Okay. He applied basically the house cost is five lakh. Okay. And this is the total cost of the house. He applied for the loan of five lakh rupees, but bank is saying that we will only offer you 80% of the loan amount. So let's say the loan amount is 4 lakh, which bank is saying this is a maximum loan you can get. So I will make 80% loan here. Now, 
if you see so if a person is paying the amount let's say he paid 40000 as of now okay so the remaining amount is 3 lakh 60000 okay now after paying this 40000 if he is keep on paying let's say 10000 rupees every month so after 4 month this is the amount he paid the person who took the loan and this is the amount which is 3 lakh 60000 so this is known as your ead component that is exposure at default so the maximum loan loss which can happen to the bank is known as ead okay now how to calculate lgd lgd is bit tricky compared to the ead so to understand lgd you need to understand this concept let's say after paying this 40000 the person default and the person say that i cannot pay the rest of the money so what bank decide that the bank can sell this house obviously right because bank gave the loan so bank want to sell this out but the market price the maximum price is 3 lakh 42000 so which bank is able to recover again in this case what is the loss so let's say this 18000 now if bank sell this for 3 lakh 42000 so your ead will change to 18000 now how you calculate lgd so lgd is bit simple now if you divide this 18000 by what value 3 lakh 60000 which will come to close to like 5% so this 5% let me just uh, scroll it up so this 5% is known as your lgd amount now the third component which i said is pd so pd is usually in percentage again so let's say pd is always calculated on the base of the past experience so let's say out of every four every one person of the similar habits is defaulting the loan let's say one out of four like this person the name was rajat so whatever the characteristics rajat rajat is having in the data so similar characteristics one member out of four is defaulting so the pd will be somewhere close to 25% out of 100 now this is a very basic example guys okay so don't get confused in this one all of these thing we will implement in python also very soon uh, but let's focus on the basic formulas now so ecl will be equal to pd multiply by lgd multiply by ead that's how things function now ecl equal to it will be 25% multiply by what is lgd you can see it's 5% and what was what was the total ead that was 360 so whatever the value will come in the output that is close to the if you multiply all this so this will come somewhere close to some 45000 so that is your ecl included the all values so that's how you calculate the expected credit loss and this is the formula overall which we use generally to calculate expected credit loss now there are two type of losses one is the unexpected one that and the second one is expected one so in this course we are going to cover the expected loss with all the calculations so like couple of more video initially maybe next 2 3 video will be more concept driven because these are banking concept which you should know okay so that's why i am making small small videos for the concept because if i directly go to the python coding and we start coding it this will be bit complex for you so on that note i will take a leave from all of you if you like the video please hit the like button please comment on my video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much guys